Hi, my name is William Kerrigan. Today is March 21st and we're in our newly planted apple orchard. And today we're gonna to be talking about how we plant our apple trees and why we do it the way we do it. Okay. All right, so our guys are on lunch break right now, but uh, we've got a little bit of an assembly line going, so I'm just gonna run through each step of the process that we're doing here. So first I'll hop on the tractor and we'll get the auger going. All right, I'm gonna auger it, you ready? The reason we use the auger is because we had to dig 2,000 holes and that would be a lot of work to do with a shovel. So we use a tractor powered implement and it makes our life a whole lot easier. All right, so we've dug a hole with our auger and now the hole's a little deep. Uh, so the next step is to just fill a little bit more soil in the hole because we don't need it to be that deep. So we can just do that now. So now that we've got our hole dug and it filled in a little more, um, we're ready to plant our tree. So I'll talk a little bit about the tree. These trees are bare root trees, um, so there's no soil on the roots, they're bare root. This one's a little dry, so we need to get it planted right now. But um, the interesting thing about this tree is that it's grafted. So you can see this area right here, there's something going on, it looks a little different. Um, so this portion here is the rootstock, and then starting right here, coming off, this is called the scion, and uh, this tree is grafted. So basically, this rootstock has traits that are really good for being a root, and this scion has traits that are really good for making a tasty apple. But if you let this rootstock make an apple, the apple wouldn't be very good. It, it just wouldn't taste good, but it has great traits for being a root. And if you let this apple grow roots, then it would be a very large tree, too large, right? It would be 20 feet tall and our apple orchard would be too crowded. So you stick them together and you get the best of both worlds. You get a really high yielding productive root that stays small, dwarf, so you don't have to get on ladders. You can pick everything from the ground, but you also have the top part, the scion, which has the really tasty apple fruits that you like to eat. So you stick them together and you get one tree, a grafted tree. So this rootstock is a clone. All of the rootstocks in this orchard are a genetic clone. They're genetically identical. They're identical twins. Uh, and, and they're taken in a process called stooling. We can add a picture of stooling. Stooling is basically where they, uh, they mound up soil around a stump and then it sends up other shoots and then those shoots make roots and then they cut those shoots out. So, so this once used to be in a, in a big cluster of other rootstocks together and then they divided them, set them out in a field, let them grow roots and then grafted them and then sent them to us. Uh, so that's how they produce the rootstocks. And then the scion, the top part, uh, this is Evercrisp by the way, the scion uh, is simply taken from a cutting of an apple tree and then they just, they cut out one bud and they stick that bud right onto the rootstock underneath the bark and then it grows and turns into a tree, right? That's grafting, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a Frankenstein tree but that's how they do it. So whenever you're planting an apple tree, planting depth is important if you have a grafted tree. So here's the graft, and we wanna make sure that the graft is above the soil level. If you plant this tree below the soil level and the graft is underground, then that means that, that the scion part, partly would be underground, and this scion would make roots. And if the scion makes roots, well then it's no longer on the rootstock roots and you've lost all the traits of the rootstock. Then you would have a really large, lower yielding tree, right? So we wanna keep the scion above the soil level so that this uh, doesn't make any roots, so that it stays on the rootstock roots. So anyway, we'll put the apple tree in the hole and make sure it's at the proper level. And then we've got a lot of roots going everywhere. Uh, we'll, we'll spread these roots out kind of in a, in a radial fashion radiating out from the from the center here uh, 
and then and then we'll start to fill in the soil and I'll probably get a shovel for for some of this got most of the soil around the apple tree um, now I'm just gonna come in and and, and firm it up a little this soil is really soft right now because we just dug it up uh, and if you didn't do this then the apple tree might sink and settle it a little more and if the tree settles then your graft could be below the soil line so it's a good idea to just kind of firm up the soil and make sure it doesn't move All right okay so now we'll move a little bit more down the line and get a stake All right, so the last part of the process is to add a stake to the apple tree to make sure it grows straight and grows strong. So this is an eight foot stake. We'll put it uh, about two feet in the ground. Right there. And uh, this stake is important because the rootstock stays small, but it is still vigorous. And if you don't tie the tree to a support, then the tree would actually break under the weight of the apples. This would get loaded up with so much fruit that it would, it would crush the tree. So it needs to be put on a support so that the fruit can be supported. So that's the last step in the process is to put a stake and attach the tree to it. Okay, so if you come out and pick apples and go in our old orchard, you'll see that there are no stakes. You're probably like, why are you putting stakes with these if you're not putting stakes with those? So those apple trees were on a different variety, M26 rootstock, and um, that variety can somewhat su support itself. When the apple tree is young, it needed a stake, and we used wooden stakes a long time ago, my father did, and then as the apple trees grew, the trees got strong enough, and then they were eventually able to support themselves. But these trees on this rootstock, G935, will never be able to support itself. It'll rely on the stake for the life of the tree. So this stake will be here for as long as the orchard is. Whoa. We can just edit that out. All right, I'm gonna auger it, you ready? We're digging a hole. It's a little slow. We can just edit that out. Sketchy, anyway. I don't know why there's orange tapes on this shovel. I'll just use this shovel. Oh, but it's a square shovel. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Alright, start the video. To put a stake and attach the tree to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> 